Hi, I'm Don Lyon, a Chief Strategy and Operations Officer here at Becker, and I'm also responsible for driving our rail segment. We're very excited about our rail journey because it's great to see investment in rail after so long of underinvestment. We've always been strong advocates for public transport, and so Becker's building a significant rail team and a significant rail workload around the country and in Australia. The exciting thing for New Zealand is that we've got more choices, so many of our people have come back from international portfolios and assignments overseas, and they're used to seeing a New Zealand environment that's motorway driven, and now we have an environment where public transport is starting to dominate in cities like Auckland. So it's very exciting in that regard because it's an urban transformation exercise which uh, we're very keen to be part of and already are a major player in. Becker's purpose is to make every day better and we genuinely mean it. So we're part of the communities that we work in. We employ two and a half thousand people in New Zealand so there's a large community that follows us and actually our values are all centred on being part of that community. So we care and we're driving sustainability agendas. We don't want it to just be a buzzword and that's why we have this purpose. And all of the stuff we're doing in rail is centred on a more sustainable urban form. So those are things that are pretty fundamental for us. The other thing is we want to be a firm that builds close partnerships with clients, reputation based. So it's not just about projects, it's about leaving a legacy in the landscape, which is a positive one. We're 100 years young and I think that says something about our reputation. Founded here in New Zealand, employee owned, so our staff own the business and growing significantly as a major infrastructure consultancy but also now into products as well, digital products as, as well as professional services. So it's definitely a great time to come back to New Zealand because for the first time in perhaps a generation we're seeing true investment in projects that will sustain and transform our urban communities. These are projects of international scale, billions of dollars into major projects that people can bring that international experience back now and apply to their own communities where they were brought up or where they'd like to live in the New Zealand environment, which is pretty special.